On May 3, 1975, after less than two years of construction, King's Dominion opened its gates to the public. It didn't take long for King's Dominion to be recognized as the perfect family destination location in the Mid-Atlantic region. In 1982, the Grizzly opened as a 97-foot tall wooden roller coaster. The ride was originally well received, but over time became rougher and rougher. Some people liked its roughness, and some thought it was unbearable. Recently, Grizzly has been shut down, and over time, King's Dominion has released several teasers, making some believe it was being refurbished, demolished, or given the praised hybrid treatment. However, eventually King's Dominion announced that it was being retracted after a long time of frequent updates, which they so-called Restore the Roar updates, King's Dominion announced it would be opening on May 13th, 2023. And that brings us to today. I rode Grizzly 22 times. 22 times on a ride that before I wouldn't even ride once. The super rough parts are not buttery smooth. However, there are still a few bumps to remind you of what this ride used to be. The big curve that used to be known as the worst part of the ride is now buttery smooth, and going down that first drop has insane ejector. Going into the tunnel and leaving it as well, you get thrown upwards from airtime. Speaking of the tunnel, I'm guessing it's been rebuilt, but I'm probably not right. Wood particles and dust were flying in my face the whole time, but in reality that's a small price to pay and it wasn't even that bad. So what is my thoughts about the back and front rows? Well, on the front row, the drop is terrifying. Twisting to the left on such a steep drop while you're looking right at it can terrify even the biggest thrill seekers. And like I previously mentioned, tons of floater and ejector airtime, which, quite frankly, now happens in every row. My opinions on last row, ejector, ejector, floater, and eject, really. That first drop getting yanked down the hill, then yanked up the second hill into the curve, the G's are insane. Before, all you could feel was roughness and shakiness, but now you can feel the true intensity. Another thing to add to the ride experience, I got a rain ride. The rain piercing your face is a terrifying feeling that I love on any ride, and Grizzly is no exception. Opening my eyes to the roar of the tunnel and the rain stopping is a feeling not even replicable by a rain ride on Racer 75, another woody in the same park that also has a tunnel. For operations, I stopwatched it four times, ranging from 98 seconds, 102 seconds, 105 seconds, and 115 seconds. The median is about 105 to 110 seconds, or a minute 50 seconds or so. However, these were all timed during the rain and I'm sure that made some delays occur. And if you think about it, it's not even that bad. Especially when you compare it to a specific competitor up north. <clears throat> Six Flags America! All in all, one question remains. Did they restore the RAR successfully? Well, yes. Yes, they did.